He's going to go back to being the black fish in the sea of white. I have no belief whatsoever that Kanye West is interested in a black agenda. Kanye is a multiculturalist. He talks black, but he lives extremely white. He talks black, but he lives exceedingly white. So I am not convinced that Kanye West has an agenda to help our community. I think all of this is smoke and mirrors so he can get free of those contracts. And he's now free of those contracts. And he's going to create. What is he calling it? The Yaney verse, the Jesus verse, the Kanye verse. And it's going to be a multicultural situation. Kanye wants to create his own multicultural community. And guess what? More power to him. More power to the Snow Bunny universe that Kanye wants to build. But that Snow Bunny universe ain't helping black America. That Snow Bunny universe ain't saving black boys. That Snow Bunny universe ain't doing nothing about black homelessness. That Snow Bunny universe ain't doing nothing about police brutality. I think Kanye is playing everybody in the interest of Kanye. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I think Kanye is playing everybody for the purposes of Kanye. He ain't thinking about no black folks. He is not thinking about no black folks. Ain't been thinking about no black folks. And ain't going to start thinking about no black folks. Everything I hear him talk about is multicultural. Now, let me talk about the election for a minute. Then I'm going to hop off. I got a clubhouse interview tonight at 10. Let me talk about this election. You got to read a newspaper a day. You got to read a newspaper a day. You got to read a newspaper a day so you can stay educated about what's going on. You got to read. If you're not consuming, if you don't know what's happening in your world, not your country, that's not big enough. Not your city, that's not big enough. Not your county, that's not big enough. Not your state, that's not big enough. You got to know what's happening in the world. I want to know what's happening in my state, my city, but also my world, brothers and sisters. November the 8th, we have a full lunar eclipse, Scorpio season. Election day, there will be a full lunar eclipse on election day. No coincidence. No coincidence. No coincidence. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal, FDMG Academy. This election coming up is the most irrelevant election black people have seen in over 50 years. You have never seen an election ever in your life. We're not a single candidate for governor, not a single candidate for mayor, not a single candidate for state rep, not a single candidate for state senator, not a single candidate for council, not a single candidate for U.S. Senate, not a single candidate for the House of Representatives, not a single candidate for the U.S. Congress is pushing anything for African people in America. Not one of them. Not one of them. 435 congressional seats will be up for grabs. 435 congressional seats will be up for grabs. 435 congressional seats will be up for grabs and not a single candidate is talking anything for black people. And you think I'm going to go vote for that? You think I'm going to go vote for that? Vote for what? Somebody give me a t-shirt. Vote for what? Can somebody send me a hoodie? 
Vote for what? Can somebody send me a banner? Can somebody tell me what the hell do I have to vote for on November the 8th? Make it plain, brothers and sisters. As Brother Malcolm, the great Pan-Africanist Malik El Shabazz said, as Brother Malcolm, the great Pan-Africanist Malik El Shabazz said, you've been had, you've been hoodwinked, you've been run amok, led astray, bamboozled, brothers and sisters. I'm going to go vote for what? Democrats got you thinking they better than Republicans. What has Joe Biden done that separates him from Donald Trump? What has Joe Biden done that separates him from Donald Trump? Talk to me, Africans. Talk to me, Africans. What has Joe Biden done so great that separates him from Donald Trump? Talk to me, Africans. Herschel Walker. And Raphael Warnock, what kind of choice is that? Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock, one is controlled by white Democrats and one is controlled by white Republicans. And you want me to think I have a choice. Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker, are you out of your African mind? Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock, are you out of your African minds? Black Georgia, Black Georgia, where's Stacey Abrams? Where's Stacey Abrams? I think she's running for governor, right? Is Stacey still in the race? Is Stacey Abrams still in the race? What is Stacey Abrams fighting for, for black people? What is Stacey Abrams, Black Georgia? Black Georgia, land of my paternal, excuse me, maternal ancestors, Black Georgia, Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock, two slaves on two different plantations, Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock, two slaves on two different plantations. Talk to me, brothers and sisters. Left wing, right wing. They two arms on the same chicken wing. I said left wing and right wing, two arms on the same chicken wing. I said left wing, right wing, two arms on the same chicken wing. I said left wing, right wing, two wings on the same chicken wing. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, I can't wait to get the Nat Turner land next Friday. I can't wait to get the Nat Turner land next Friday. I can't wait to get the Nat Turner land Friday, November the 11th, natturnerlibrary.com. Get your tickets, natturnerlibrary.com. Black Pamera Boot Camp in Philly, November the 19th. Get your tickets. Showboat Casino, Atlantic City, New Jersey, November the 25th. Black Business Expo and Fashion Show. Get your tickets, brothers and sisters. But I want to say this. I'm not going to stop none of you from voting. I'm not going to stop none of you from voting. I'm not going to stop none of you from voting. But don't you dare make somebody feel bad because they don't want to participate in the validation of their extermination. I said, don't you dare try to make a conscious African feel bad because they don't want to participate in the validation of their extermination. If voting could change anything, it would be illegal, brothers and sisters. The black vote is a joke until it becomes woke. I said the black vote is a joke until it becomes woke. I said the black vote is a joke until it becomes woke, until we organize our votes. Until we vote as a race, as a people, as a community, we're never going to get nothing out of none of these politicians. Democrat and Republican isn't an African dichotomy. Democrat and Republican isn't an African dichotomy. That's an intellectual dispute between white folks. Why are we involved? Why are we involved? Why are we involved? The Democrats don't speak to you. The Republicans don't speak to you. So why are you getting involved in an intellectual civil war between white folks? 
That's not our dichotomy. Our dichotomy ain't Democrat and Republican. Our dichotomy is slavery and freedom, brothers and sisters. Our dichotomy ain't Democrat and Republican. Our dichotomy is independence or slavery. That's the black dichotomy. Talk black to me. Look at this. Listen to this. Let me give you the ages of some of your congressional black caucus members. Let me give you the ages of some of your congressional black caucus members. I'm double streaming on Twitter and TikTok. Excuse me. Instagram and TikTok. I'm double streaming on Instagram and TikTok. I'm double streaming. Instagram, Dr. Umar Johnson. TikTok, Prince of Pan-Africanism. Instagram, Dr. Umar Johnson. TikTok, Prince of Pan-Africanism. Listen to the ages of your Congressional Black Caucus. Eleanor Holmes Norton. 84 years old. Maxine Waters, 83 years old. Sanford Bishop, 75 years old. James Clyburn, 81 years old. Eddie Bernice Johnson, 86 years old. Bobby Rush, 75 years old. Robert Cortez Scott, 74 years old. Benny Thompson, 74 years old. Sheila Jackson Lee, 72 years old. Danny Davis, 80 years old. Gregory Meeks, 68 years old. Barbara Lee, 75 years old. David Scott, 76 years old. George Butterfield, 74 years old. Emmanuel Cleaver, 77 years old. Al Greer, 74 years old. Gwen Moore, 70 years old. Yvette Clark, 57 years old. Henry Hank Johnson, 67 years old. Andre, Andre Carson, 47 years old. And that's not all of them. That's not all of them. That's not all of them. Now, we're not going to disrespect our elders. Some of them have put in work. Eleanor Holmes Norton has put in work. Maxine Waters has put in work. Some of them have put in work, brothers and sisters. We're not dismissing the contribution. And we're not dismissing the age because we need our elders for mentorship and guidance. We're not dismissing them because we need our elders for mentorship and guidance. But what we are saying, TikTok and Instagram, what we are saying, TikTok and Instagram, what we are saying, TikTok and Instagram, how many 80-year-olds you know got the strength and stamina to stand up to racism? How many 75-year-olds you know got the strength and stamina to stand up to racism? How many senior citizens you know can walk into the United States government and fight unapologetically for black people's freedom, justice, and equality? It's time to pass the torch. It's time to pass the torch. They did a good job. Let's give them a retirement party and let's move them over to the Council of Elders for the Bishop Turner National Independent Black Parent Association. Let's give them a retirement party and move them to the Council of Elders. We still need them. We still need them, brothers and sisters. We still need them, but you can't be on the front lines no more. We still need them, but you can't be on the front lines no more. Maxine Waters passed the damn torch. Eleanor Holmes Norton passed the damn torch. Sanford Bishop and James Clyburn and Eddie Johnson and Robert Scott and Benny Thompson and Danny Davis and Sheila Jackson Lee. She has put in work. I love Sheila Jackson Lee, but you're now 72. Queen mother, grandmother, pass the damn torch. Let's get out the way. Black people are the only people who let old people lead from the front instead of advise from the rear. I said black people are the only people who let old folks lead from the front instead of advising from the rear. And the reason our elders love to be up front is because every Negro has a castrated ego. I said every Negro has a castrated ego. 
I said every Negro, if I tuned a three times, has a castrated ego. Black people are so used to not having no damn power. Black people are so used to not having no damn power. Black people are so used to having no damn power that when we get in a position that feels like power, even if it's not, when we get in a position that feels like power, even if it's not, we let it go to our damn heads. And when we taste that power, we don't want to give it up. We want to keep it through our 50s and keep it through our 60s and keep it through our 70s and keep it through our, excuse me, our 80s. I'm glad to see Eleanor Holmes Norton. Still alive and doing well at 84. I'm glad to see Maxine Waters still alive and doing well at 83. I'm glad to see James Cloudburn doing well at 81 and Eddie Johnson at 86. I'm glad to see Benny Thompson doing well at 74 and Sheila Jackson Lee at 72. Black don't crack. I'm glad my elders are doing good and can still walk on their own two feet. I salute them. But you are well beyond the age of being a warrior. You are well beyond the age of being a warrior. No disrespect at all. But we have to retire some of them. Move them to the council of elders where they can provide guidance and nurture and education for the next generation of black politicians. We got to pass the torch, brothers and sisters. And if they don't want to pass the torch, we're going to have to take the torch, brothers and sisters. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. It's going down in November. We got four big events. It's going down in November. We got four big events. It's going down in November. We got four big events. I'm on Clubhouse tonight, 10 o'clock interview. Get on Clubhouse tonight, brothers and sisters. It's going to be hot and heavy. I got a 10 o'clock interview. I know it's going to be some Negro peons up in the chat. I know it's going to be a few Negro peons up in the chat, brothers and sisters. I was on Clubhouse yesterday for an interview. I was on Clubhouse yesterday for an interview. And the sister said, why don't you give LeBron James and Sean Combs credit for opening up their schools? The sister said, why don't you give LeBron James and Puffy Combs credit for opening up their school? And I told the sister, what school are you talking about? What school are you talking about? LeBron James don't have no damn school. That is a public school in Akron, Ohio in his name. That is a public school in Akron, Ohio. It's not in his name. That is a public school in Akron, Ohio, in his name. LeBron don't hire nobody. LeBron don't graduate nobody. LeBron don't make no curriculum. That's a public school, brothers and sisters. And then she said, Puff Daddy got five schools. She said, Puff Daddy got five schools. Puff Daddy opened five charter schools, brothers and sisters. Puff Daddy opened, no disrespect to Puffy, but my question to Mr. Combs, congratulations on your billionaire status. When are you going to build an institution for black folks? Congratulations on your billionaire status. When are you going to build an institution for black folks, Puffy? But a charter school is a public school by law. A charter school is a public school by law. Let me say it again for you politically uneducated Negro peons. A charter school is a public school Puff Daddy don't own no school. Brothers and sisters, it's going down on Clubhouse tonight. I got a YouTube interview on the 9th. I got another interview. If you want an interview, text me. Interviews are not free. No freebies, brothers and sisters. If you want the most requested, the most relevant, the most revolutionary, sixth degree having, king of black consciousness, on your platform, you're going to pay for that. I paid for my education and you're going to pay for the education I'm going to give you. I paid for my education and you're going to pay for the education I'm giving you. Black woman, please, you give the Koreans 30 billion a year. I wish you would complain. Black women, you give the Korean hair care industry 30 billion dollars a year. You Negro peons. I don't want to hear nothing. 
You Negro peons. You give McDonald's a billion dollars a year. I don't want to hear nothing. I'll be on the Breakfast Club November the 14th with Charlemagne and Envy. I'll be on the Breakfast Club November the 14th with Charlemagne and Envy. I will be back on the Breakfast Club dropping that heat with Charlemagne and Envy on November the 14th. Who pulling up to the Breakfast Club November the 14th? Interview number six, the most anticipated follow-up in Breakfast Club history. More views than your favorite rapper. More views than your favorite singer. More views than your favorite comedian. More views than your favorite actor. How in the hell is the leader of black consciousness getting more views on YouTube, the internet, TikTok, whatever you want to say, than all your entertainers? Because our people are ready for consciousness. Our people are ready for consciousness. Our people are ready for consciousness. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to say this and I'm going to be quiet. There is a very important Supreme Court decision. There is a very important Supreme Court decision being debated right now in Washington, D.C. A very important Supreme Court decision being debated right now in Washington, D.C. The Asian nation. The same Asians you backed doing anti-Asian hate. Listen, listen. Listen, you Negro peons, the same Asian community that you backed during anti-Asian hate, the same ones, Negroes, have went behind your back to the Supreme Court and they're trying to destroy affirmative action at the college level. The Asians are saying Harvard University and the University of North Carolina, Harvard University, and the University of North Carolina is discriminating against Asians in preference for black people. These are the same Asians who you came to their defense, the same Asians who you stood for, the same Asians who you marched for, the same Asians you stood with in the anti-Asian hate campaign, they are now at the Supreme Court trying to destroy what's left of affirmative action at the college level. I hope you multicultural Negro peons have learned your lesson. I hope you multicultural Negro peons have learned your lesson. I hope you multicultural Negro peons have learned your lesson. Every group you have helped, every single group that you have helped always stabs you in the back right after you help them out. Every single group of people you have ever helped always stabs you in the back right after you help them. Brothers and sisters, I need to get ready to bring this to a close. What do I want to say in conclusion? In conclusion, I want to say that I will give you a thousand dollars if you can prove this prediction wrong. Y'all ready? I got a thousand dollars for everybody in the world who can prove what I'm about to say wrong. Are y'all ready? 
a thousand dollars to every one of you. Black bunnies, snow bunnies, red bunnies. I got a thousand dollars for every one of you. If you can prove this prediction wrong. And this prediction is on November the 9th, the morning after elections. On November the 9th, the morning after elections. On November the 9th, the morning after elections, black America will be in the same exact position she was on November the 8th. Who wants to bet me that on November the 9th, after you Democratic Party plantation slaves cast your vote and you Republican Party plantation slaves Cast your vote on November the 8th, Eclipse Day in Taurus, Scorpio season. The very next day, Black America will be in the same condition the day after you voted as they were the day you voted. Who wants to bet me? Who wants to bet me? In fact, I'm going to give you a little bit more time. I'm not going to say November the 9th, the day after you vote. I'm going to say February 9th. I'm going to give you three months. I'm going to give the Democratic Party plantation slave masters three months to do something for Negroes. Who wants to bet $1,000 that on February the 9th, the black community will be in the same condition she was in November the 8th full lunar eclipse in Taurus Scorpio season United States of America election day brothers and sisters you can fool all the people some of the time and you can fool some of the people all the time. You can fool all the people some of the time. And you can fool some of the people all the time. But you can't fool King Kong consciousness none of the time, brothers and sisters. Talk properly so you can hear me. My dear brother, I don't take orders from none of you Negroes. I don't take orders from none of you Negroes. I am an institution builder, a problem solver, a solution deliverer in the education and mental health systems for my people. You don't do what I do. Nothing on my political resume is on your resume. Nothing. I am the only institution builder in the black consciousness community. Let me clarify. I am the only independent, no white bank money, no government money, no white handout money. I'm the only independent institution builder in black consciousness. As Meek Mill would say, it's levels to this and we not on it. As Meek Mills would say, it's levels to this and we not on the same level. Let me say this and I'm going to be quiet. I got 90 seconds remaining on Instagram. I got 90 seconds remaining on Instagram before they cut me off. Let me say this. Don't let them use Kanye West as a distraction away from the fact the Democrats have nothing on the table for black people. Don't let them use Kanye West as a media distraction away from the fact the Democrats have nothing on the table for black people. Don't let them use Kanye West and Kyrie Irving. Don't let them use Kanye West and Kyrie Irving. Irving as a distraction in the media to take your focus off the fact that the Democrats have nothing on the table for African people. November the 8th, King Kong is back.
brothers and sisters. November 11th, Friday, Nat Turner. November 19th, Saturday, Philadelphia Boot Camp. November 26th, Showboat Casino, Atlantic City. Black Business Expo and Fashion Show. If you need to reach me, 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. It is Pan-Africanism or Perish. It is Garveyism or Get Back. It is Prince of Pan-Africanism forever. Black.